Stan Gibalisco here. I'd like to talk a little bit about average versus peak power, particularly when we're talking about high fidelity systems or communication systems where analog data is transmitted, voices or music. What you're looking at here is a coordinate system on which I have provided two axes, instantaneous power, meaning the amount of power that comes out of an amplifier, say, uh, at any given instant or moment in time, and then time going out towards the right on the horizontal axis. Time here is the independent variable or the domain of the function, so instantaneous power is a function of time. Now, when you, if, if we were to take, say, uh, an oscilloscope or a level uh, displaying device and, for example, display my voice as a function of time uh, coming out of an amplifier, you might see fluctuations something like this. Or music, for example, anything like that. You have power that fluctuates greatly from instant to instant. During moments of silence, the power will actually drop all the way down to zero or near zero. Uh, at certain peaks, certain speech uh, formants, consonants, clicks, shouts, various types of instances in speech or music, you will get these peaks. Well, it's not too hard to intuitively imagine that the peak power in this example is something like what I've drawn here with this crude dotted line. The minimum power will be zero at any instant or moment in time when there is silence. I guess I didn't really extend these all the way down there like that, but from time to time you will get moments of zero power. And then somewhere, if you were to take each and every one of these points, and average them, or take a great number of them, maybe one every millionth or tr trillionth of a second, and average them over this uh, time interval. Let's say each division here represents one second. One, two, three, four, five, six seconds. So zero, two, four seconds, six seconds. Suppose you were to take samples every, oh, maybe thousandth of a second at least, and then you were to take all of those points and average them. That is to say, find the arithmetic mean. You might come up with something about halfway, usually about halfway, but not necessarily. It depends on the nature of the voice, the way a person is speaking, the nature of the music, the way the music is being played. It could be much less. So the average power is always smaller than the peak power. Here is the peak power. And then somewhere down in here is the average power. Now if you ever hear someone talking about RMS power, I made another video explaining that concept. It's really, it does have technical meaning, but for all intents and uh, purposes, it means the same thing as average power, and it's really not necessary to use the root mean square paradigm when talking about power, because power is always positive. Voltages can vary in polarity positively and negatively, and currents can vary positively and negatively in the sense that they go in one direction or the other, but power is always, uh, is what we call a scalar quantity, meaning that it is always identifiable by a positive real number. So that's what's the difference between average versus peak power in an audio system. And when you're, when you're looking at an, a high fidelity system, say for your car or your home, you want to know 
what the average power output capability of your amplifier is and you want to know also what the peak power of those uh, same amplifiers is and when you purchase speakers to use with that uh, system you want to make sure that those speakers can handle all the power peaks with some room to spare so for example if this peak power were 200 watts you'd want to purchase some speakers that could handle at least half again that much 300 watts or more on the peaks that will ensure that you never experience distortion in your high fidelity system and this this ratio between peak and average power can range anywhere from around 2 to 1 all the way up to 4 or even 5 to 1 unless we use something called audio compression and I'm going to describe that in another video uh, that uh, technique is used sometimes to boost the average power of a voice signal while not making the peaks any greater thereby in effect providing more punch to the voice for communications particularly this is used by amateur radio operators so long for now